All right, I guess we're gonna get busy on this fuel pump. Uh, doesn't look like it's gonna be too hard. Get to it pretty easy, so uh, let's get after it. it. Took me like ten minutes just to find the stuff I needed. You know, I'm I'm so bad about freaking laying tools down. Gotta stop that. <laughs> Right, that wasn't too bad at all all right uh yeah usually you gotta push that little rod up to get the, the you know the little lever behind it and then it keeps falling yeah but um this one seems to have like a lobe or something on there i don't know anything about these motors but uh you just tuck something behind there and bolts on so that was lickety split super easy you know I ain't complaining. All right, we got all the fuel hooked up. I guess let's turn it over and see we'll see what happens. All right. All right, Gina's out running errands, so I'm gonna have to go in this and put a little mustard in here, and then uh, go into the cab. It's got that stupid foot pedal start. So see what happens. <laughs> I think there's already fuel in there. Well, hell yeah.
Tomorrow we'll pull the 57, bet park it over there by the Chevelle. And uh, I don't want to try to move this with that right there. I don't want like I'd bash right into it, okay? Won't be able to stop. So we'll uh, try to move it tomorrow. What's going on everybody? So uh, I was waiting for the parts for that uh, the truck. I was thinking what's next? You know, I'm gonna probably need to get some brakes on there. So I uh, started looking into that, you know, for like 250 bucks or something, you get the whole disc brake conversion for the front of those, uh, for the trucks and they just bolt on. So, uh, but then I, you know, I saw it in a little print it said not for 3100 only so i called them and they said that this kit won't work on the 3600 you know they well you know i'll just get it a new front uh you know straight axle and then and you know and convert that over instead of worrying about you know that old drum you know crap and then uh so i got on the the marketplace facebook and um I find a whole entire chassis, frame, rear end, motor, everything off the 3100. So we're going to head to Austin, and uh, at least it's on this side of Austin. I don't have to go clear through Austin because that's just crazy. But um, so uh, I, I got a bunch of metal on my on my utility trailer uh, that I'm going to drop off at the salvage yard and then head out. So we're gonna head to town, unload this trailer, and then uh, head to Austin. And I, I Googled, you know, when I Googled mapped it, you know, and kind of zoomed in on it, it looks like there's a bunch of cars sitting around there, almost like a junkyard kind of thing. So, you know, who knows what the, what else they got laying around there. And uh, so if we see anything interesting, uh, you know, we'll bring you back in and show you what's going on. But uh, anyways, little road trip this morning. So, uh, and uh, I'll check in with you in a little bit. The trailer load, I got 54 bucks, man. I'm gonna go find some more metal. But I did snag this out of the pile. Uh, I'm sure the motor's out or it doesn't work, but you know, I bet you we can get, we could put a different motor on there or something and uh, use that this summer, big time. All right. So we're going to head to Austin now and uh, and see what the guys got. All right, we'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back at the house. Um, you know, he had a lot of cool cars there. Well, it actually was a friend of the guy that owned the property. And, um, hmm, you know, it was a little sketchy. So we... Just got in there, got what we needed, and got out. So, uh, you know, I hate things like that, but you just got to be careful. Anyways, uh, I didn't even have a chance to really look close. I just tried to get it loaded and, uh, and uh, get out of there. You know, had these crappy wagon wheels on there steel wagon wheels which i hate and uh he's like well the you know he wants a hundred bucks extra for the wheels i was like but if you don't want them you know we could take the wheels off so <laughs> so what i end up doing is pulling it up on the trailer and uh just sitting it down on the axles and on the trailer frame uh, I wish I would have had my car hauler because with the sides on my utility trailer, 
it was hard to get the wheels and tires off and I'm glad I brought a jack because uh, otherwise I'd still be sitting there but anyways it was we got it home and uh, and we'll have to decide what we're, we're gonna do now so um, all right let's let's take a look all right supposedly this is from a 50 30 100 and um, you know, I didn't know it, but I guess I do now. I guess, because on the 53 on mine, it's got regular uh, U-joints and shocks. And um, I was thinking I would just, I can convert this, you know, rear end over to there and the front end, the uh, straight axle. But this has got the, the torque tube junk on there. So uh, I ain't gonna be able to use this rear end at all. And uh, it's got these, I don't know, the hydraulic helper shock ordeals. Um, I might be able to use the springs because the uh, three quarter ton has these, I mean, massive springs. And this half ton has got a little more, you know, smaller springs. But uh, there's my fan I picked up get that thing going because when it gets to be 110 that's going to be like uh, a savior but uh anyways i got the i mean the, the main reason what i was looking for is the front axle set up and everything so i think between the springs or the leaf springs front end um, that might be all we could use on this and then we'll we may see if we get this motor running and uh, uh, For some reason it seems like around here um, Someone will buy up those six cylinders but uh, So if I if I could get you know get my money back from what I spent I mean I mean I gave the guy uh, 300 bucks for the whole thing. So if I was to buy a you know whole new front axle and um, spindles you know I'll be in it for 300 bucks and, and, and maybe that's should have went that route to begin with but uh, like I said it was a little sketchy there I tried to just get load up and then get out of there and um, but this the frame and everything on here is nice everything's perfect nothing's really rusted out got some surface rust so uh, I think I could part this out and uh, at least get my money back. So not too bad. See, like on my truck, this is missing. I got a a pipe that goes, or I got, a, you know, the stretch hose, flex hose. With a, oh, got another plate. Sorry, Herb, I'm keeping that one. But, uh, yeah, there's some good parts on here. And, uh, say, so we'll just take off what we need and, uh, sell the rest or junk it, one of the two. So, but these front axles and spindles, Speedway sells the, uh, disc brake conversion and they just bolt right on. And, uh, and you have disc brakes. And then most likely I'll just uh, get a, uh, another rear end for the back and then swap it out. But anyways, who knows? I mean, we'll, we'll think about it. We'll ponder and we'll get to, we'll continue to do what we do. And uh, but at least we have this stuff. I mean, I figure if it, I saw it, and if you don't jump on them right away, stuff's gone and then you sit there and like man i should have just went over and got that so i don't know i don't know if we'll use it all or not uh most likely we'll use the front axle and this stuff but um i've got the horn on there covered the carburetor up so i'm wondering if this thing ran we'll see maybe maybe uh just for fun we'll um Try to get it to pop off. And that might be a, you know, a good selling point, you know. I'll do a little video of it actually running and then put it up for sale. 
Bumpers are trash. It's a custom bumper, but uh, but otherwise everything's solid on here. Everything's clean, and uh, I guess we'll just keep moving forward. All right, I guess that's uh, we'll call that a wrap on uh, getting that fuel system going. So it seems to be doing everything good, and uh, everything's all brand new and fresh. So we shouldn't have any problems with that. So uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, tell me what you think about that that uh, chassis over there. We, we should we just swap the uh, axles on, leave the long bed, totally redo that and swap everything over, which seems like a lot of work. And uh, I mean, cause this chassis is solid too. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Um, but uh, we'll think about it. We'll toss it around. Tell me what you think. We'll, what we should do, I think we're definitely going to swap the motors, but like I said, we're just trying to get them, uh, get them all running now so we can move them back and forth and, before, and then uh, before we just totally tear, blow one apart and then, because uh, it's it's going to sit, you know, for a while, but, um, but I appreciate everybody watching and uh, thanks for the support and uh, we'll catch you next time.